I got my hands on the new Boosteroid hardware and tested it on Black Ops 7, which will be the first game to get FSR Redstone, AMD's new suite of machine learning technologies including upscaling, frame generation, and ray reconstruction. Now before Redstone launches, Boosteroid added Black Ops 7 which includes FSR 4 and ray reconstruction as of now. We compare the current hardware versus the new Radeon RX 9070 XT which should be coming soon, and the results were quite interesting. Let's get into it. Now before we get into it, be aware that the new RX 9070 XT hardware defaulted to FSR 4. Currently, this is only available for RX 9000 generation cards at the moment. This isn't available for the current RX 7900 XT booster it is using right now, so I'll be changing FSR4 to Fidelity FX CAS for a fair comparison. So I ran two different sets of benchmarks for this test, four on 4K and another four on 1080p. Now here are the tests I ran. First, it's default settings, and the second, I added frame generation, and the third, I turned off frame gen and did ray tracing alone. And finally, I turned on both frame gen and ray tracing. Both sets of hardware defaulted to extreme settings. So let's start first at 4K. An average of 104 FPS for the 9070 XT and 84 FPS for the 7900 XT. That's about a 23% increase in frames for the new hardware. Not bad. Let's turn on frame gen and see what we get. An average of 150 FPS for the 9070 XT and 110 FPS for the 7900 XT. This is an even higher increase of 36% for the new hardware. But now for the test we wanted to see, ray reconstruction. Let's turn off frame gen and turn on ray reconstruction. Let's run it.
Oh my, what do we have here? I wasn't actually expecting the newer hardware to perform worse than the current hardware. An average of 19 FPS for the 9070 XT and 24 FPS for the 7900 XT. Check out the differences between these two. It's clear that ray tracing isn't as powerful on the 7900 XT side. The lighting looks great here for the 9070 XT though. Now for the last 4K test, both ray tracing and frame gen on. Let's see if things change. So, not much better, but at least it's out of the teens and into the 30s. The 7900 XT wins again. Now for those looking for the 1080p benchmarks, I have those results here. These are the default settings with the 9070 XT with a 30% increase here. With frame gen on, the 9070 XT only had a 7% increase. Interesting. With only ray tracing on, the results were almost even with a 2 frame difference. And lastly, with both on, it was only a 1 frame difference with the 9070 XT actually winning. So 1080p might be the way to go here. So will you be playing with ray tracing or frame gen on? To me, Call of Duty doesn't seem like a game that needs it to be honest, but to each his own. It's not going to help me get my KD ratio up, if you know what I mean. And are these results for the new Boostroid RX 9070 XT what you expected? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this benchmark for the new Boostroid hardware, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon and our Discord in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place we can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.